Welcome to the Eric Avisar Show. Liverpool hosted Manchester City today at Anfield to conclude what has been an absolutely brutal stretch of games in late September and early October. I mean, it was just nonstop football heading into this international break, and now both teams will go to their respective international sides, having played to a scoreless draw at Anfield. Not the most exciting match you'll ever watch, but for the most part, uh, aesthetically pleasing football with, you know, plenty of drama at the end with Virgil van Dyke committing a penalty just before stoppage time. And interestingly enough, before Gabriel Jesus, the substitute, could come on and take the penalty kick, Benjamin Mendy passed along a note informing that Riyad Mahrez had been selected to take uh, the PK instead. That decision was a disastrous one as Mahrez sent that pen into the stands, much to the relief of Reds fans. It would have been a, a harsh result for Liverpool to lose, considering uh, the first half was a 50-50 affair, and the Reds uh, definitely outplayed City in the second half. I don't know if I was go as far as to say uh, domination, but certainly uh, were the better side for the last 45 minutes. Uh, interestingly enough, Liverpool goalkeeping coach John Achterberg is getting plaudits uh, for correctly predicting from the sideline which way Mares would go, but make no mistake, he is still a terrible coach. He has made every Liverpool keeper worse since he's been uh, working at Anfield. But man, you know, just huge relief when that uh, PK went to the stands. It was the same type of joy and relief and elation uh, that would come with scoring a goal. You know, uh, the penalty call against Van Dijk was a fair call. Even uh, Van Dijk admitted it afterwards. But you could say, you know, Liverpool were playing uh, 11 on 12 today. You know, Martin Atkinson has a history of giving uh, harsh and unfair decisions against the Reds. And that narrative uh, continues today. You know, Atkinson is an awful official. He's an absolute disgrace. I would have no problem with seeing him never officiate another football match ever again. I mean, the lack of consistency and all of the terrible calls that were made, it's just a laundry list you could come up with how many times, uh, you know, he really just made Liverpool uh, struggle unnecessarily. You know, um, the funny thing is about the Reds at this point in time is that the team's strengths and weaknesses have pretty much flipped. You know, in the past, uh, it's been about that front three, you know, that attacking front line of Mane, uh, Firmino, and Salah carrying the team. Well, now, over the past few weeks, it's been the defense uh, carrying the squad. You know, they've been fantastic uh, this season. They did very, very well to keep a clean sheet against the best attacking side in the league today. This was the first serious mistake that I can remember Virgil van Dijk making in a red shirt. It seemed like it was bound to happen eventually, and I would still take him over pretty much any other center back uh, in the world in this moment. You know, a lot of people were shocked to see uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold left on the bench on his birthday, uh, but you know, he needed the rest. He was wary, he was jaded. Lovren comes in at center back, Joe Gomez moves to right back, and Lovren played pretty much a flawless game. I mean, his marking was not airtight at times, but he made some great tackles out there and was very pleased uh, with his performance. I think when you look at the midfield, Jordan Henderson, James Milner, who you hope, of course, uh, will get healthy quickly. You know, he had to come off uh, early, so a serious injury to him could be very problematic. But between Henderson, Milner, and Wijnaldum, look, all three players deserve to start but not together. The three of them are too similar and they don't uh, provide enough attacking spark. This team lacks a number 10. The Reds are hurting from missing out on Nabil Fakir uh, this summer. And you know, the Reds may need to sign a new number 10 come January if Klopp does not feel comfortable uh, giving Shakiri a solid run of games as a starter. I would have no problem with that at all. I love uh, the work rate and you know the efficiency and quality that Shakiri has displayed so far and he certainly adds a dynamic element to the team when it comes to set pieces but you know in Klopp the Reds have to trust considering you know how he's elevated this team over time but there are serious problems that need to be addressed 
you know, uh, Pep Fraudiola, the most overrated manager in world football, admitted that he tried slowing down the game, which is the ultimate compliment in a sense to pay to the attacking prowess of Jurgen Klopp's Reds. Liverpool uh, and Man City will now be on a bit of a hiatus uh, as they, you know, prepare for this international break. Should be very ex exciting to see how uh, the EPL fares after the break's over. Thank you all so much for tuning in, and please be sure to subscribe to my channel.